Emmanuel Macron is a very youthful 39 years old. His wife is 25 years older than him, which probably helps him look so young, there's nothing that makes you look younger than surrounding yourself with people who are two decades older. Ever since Macron was elected, comparisons have been drawn to other youthful world leaders, like he's the French JFK or French Obama, I guess. But as it turns out, President Macron has some secrets for staying so youthful looking. Those secrets are pretty expensive. His wife Bridget lamented her wrinkles compared with his freshness over the breakfast table, but Emmanuel Macron's youthful looks come at a price, 26,000 euros in three months. The French president returned to work this week after perhaps the shortest presidential holiday in modern French history to find himself under fire not only for his controversial plans to reform France's complicated labor law, but for spending a small fortune on makeup. Since entering the Elysee Palace in May, the 39-year-old president has settled two bills from a personal makeup artist called Natasha M., one for €10,000 and another for €16,000. After the report in L.E. Point, presidential aides insisted there was no cover-up and that the makeup artist had been called in as a matter of urgency. Future cosmetic bills would be significantly reduced, they insisted. The sum covers various services including press conferences and foreign trips where the person concerned has to travel with him, one Elysee official told journalists. The official admitted the bill was high, but less than his predecessors. Macron, nicknamed Jupiter after the all-powerful Roman god, is not the first French president to pay handsomely for keeping up appearances. His predecessor, the socialist François Hollande, was accused of shampoo socialism after reportedly forking out 30,000 euros for makeup, topped off with a monthly 9,895 euros bill for a personal barber to cut and dry his thinning hair, according to the satirical newspaper L.E. Canard and Chain. The Elysee justified the cost by saying the hairdresser had to get up early and fix the president's hair every morning, and as many times during the day as necessary. Vanity Fair claimed Hollande's conservative predecessor, Nicolas Sarkozy, spent €8,000 a month on having his face done. In 2005, it was revealed that the British Prime Minister, Tony Blair, had spent more than £1,800 of taxpayers' money on cosmetics and makeup artists in the six years since he came to power. David Cameron's hairstylist, Raffaele Lino Carbossiero, was reportedly paid £90 per cut and dry. Carbossiero was later given an MBE for services to hairdressing after moving the PM's parting from the right side to the left. On Facebook, a former employee of the British Embassy in Paris claimed UK ministers and even the PM would joke about how orange-tinted their French colleagues looked during bilateral meetings. They would say French politicians all look like film stars, where is the stress and the fatigue? He wrote. Honestly, £1,800 on makeup artistry over the course of six years sounds like a relative bargain, right? Tony Blair was getting budget makeup done, I guess. As for Macron and his makeup needs. I'm not going to shame a man for wanting makeup, especially if the dude is a public figure and being photographed and televised constantly. That being said, did he really need a makeup artist to travel with him constantly? Does a 39-year-old president-slash-presidential candidate need to have flawless-looking skin? Can't we, as a society, accept our politicians when they look a bit tired and haggard? Also, the shade of it all with that aside about David Cameron's hair part, OMG.